Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Muntazir Hussain. In the previous series of videos, we have started how we can download, install and track model sim software. In one of my previous videos, I have explained how you can create and uh, simulate a project in model sim and we have studied the very log HDR code for NotGate. I will provide the link of all those videos in the description of this video. Uh, in today's lecture, I'm interested to show you how you can write Verilog HDL code for another important uh, basic gate that is AND gate. In lab number one, we have studied the Verilog code for NOT gate. So in this lab, we will study the Verilog HDL code for AND gate. We need the software that is model sim. And uh, this is a bit description of AND gate circuit. This is the uh, circuit diagram of AND gate as you can see we have two inputs the first input is A and the second input is B and Y is the output of AND gate so for two input AND gate we have four possible combination according to the two power AND formula so we have two inputs so in this case we have four possible combination for uh, these two inputs the first possible combination is 0 0 for that the output will be 0 if the first, uh, in the second combination, if the first input A is zero and the second input B is one, then the output will be zero. In the third combination, when the first input is high, that is one, and the second input is zero, then the output again will be zero. For AND operation, the output will be equal to one only if both the input A and B are one, then the output will be one. For all other possibilities, the output remain zero. So these are the steps which, uh, which are required to create, compile and simulate project in model sim. So I have explained all these steps in lab number one. So I will just uh, skip all these uh, steps. So I have written the very log code for AND gate as you can see on the screen. We can add command to the very log code. The command in very log code is the same as uh, command in the C language. This backslash static and static black slash is used for uh, commenting multiple line and uh, double slash is used to command a single line. I have started the code with the keyword module and then I have assigned the name to that module that is AND gate and I have specified the input output port of that module and uh, I have declared the input. The, the input to the module is A and B using the keyword input and then I have declared the output of the module uh, that is Y using the keyword output. And then I have used the continuous assignment statement in order to assign the output of the AND gate to the input using the AND operator. So this, uh, this indicates the AND operation. It will uh, indicate uh, the ending between A and B and assign the output to the output port that is Y. And then I have ended the module with, uh, with the keyword and module. To test the functionality of the module and gate, we will now write the test bench. So again, I have written uh, the keyword module in order to create the module for the test bench as well. And I have assigned the name for the test bench that is and gate underscore test TB test bench. And then I have specified input and output port. Uh, by using the keyword wire, I have uh, defined the output port that is T underscore Y and uh, I have declared the input by using the keyword RAG. The first input is T underscore A and the second input is T underscore B. And then I have called the instantiation and gate that I have created in the above uh, module and I have assigned some other name to this module that is my underscore gate and furthermore i have declared the input and output ports of the task bench we can instantiate the port in the task bench by two methods the first method is by order which means that the order of the port in the task bench should be the same as the order uh, of the port in the module and the second method is instantiating the port by name which means that we are uh, defining each port by their name so the order is not important uh, in, in in the second case that is instantiation by name we can write any the ports input and output ports by any order 
the order is not important in in this case so i have declared the input output ports of this uh, module test bench by by nan so now in this case the order is not important i have connected the input a of the module to the input of the test bench that is t underscore a and then i have connected the input b of the module uh, to the uh, to the input that is t underscore b and i have connected the output of the module y to the output of the test bench that is t underscore y and then initial begin in order to assign some different values to the inputs so i will assign some different value to the input port t underscore a and t underscore b and i will observe the output accordingly and i will compare the output of the well log code with the basic functionality of the and gate that is when both input a is zero and output b is zero so the output should be uh, zero similarly i have uh, written the all other possible combination for the two input and gate i have used uh, the five and the second delay among each uh, different combination and then i have and initial begin and then i have written and module in order to and the test bench module this is the timing diagram for and gate the first input is shown by a red line and the second input is shown by green line and the output is shown by white so you can easily extend the very log code for three input and gate as well now let's practice this code in model frame so we will follow the same step as we have studied in lab number first we will first uh, create the project just by clicking on this uh, file new and then project I will assign the name to the project my underscore and gate and uh, leave a project location and work library by default and then just click on OK. So as you can see my project and gate is now created in the uh, in the example. Now I will add the file to this project. The first file is and uh, underscore gate. That is the very log module for AND gate. I will uh, choose the file type very log and then click on OK. So we will add another file for the test bench as well. And we will assign the name AND underscore gate underscore test bench. And again, we will choose the file very log. And we will close this uh, add new atom to the project window. Now we will double click on this module and underscore gate. So we will open using notepad. So as I have already explained the very law code for and gate, so I will just copy and paste that code uh, in this uh, and underscore gate and then control S in order to save the code. And furthermore, I will also copy the task bench uh, for the and gate as well. So now successfully compiling the and underscore gate and and underscore test bench file. Now we will simulate both the file. So just click on this simulation and start simulation. So as you can see, this simulation window will be open and then just click on this positive sign at the left side of word and then select the test bench file, which is and gate underscore TB, which is the name of our test bench module, as you can see, and gate underscore tv and then just untick this enable optimization option and click ok so my project file will be loaded and some new window will be added to the design so i will just add waveform to the timing diagram just click right click on the test bench file and then uh, click add to and then wave and then all atom in the region so it will add all of my input and output ports to the timing diagram as you can see the input and output ports are now added to the timing diagram now i will just click on this run so as you can see the input output waveform is generated in the timing diagram so in order to clearly analyze the input and output waveform first click on this timing diagram and then click this option that is uh, zoom full in order to clearly see the input and output waveform and furthermore we can change the color of the input and output waveform as well 
Now we will analyze the timing diagram by comparing the input and output ports in the timing diagram with the truth table of the AND gate. So as you can see in the first case when both the input uh, TA and TV are 0, 0. This is the first case when A is 0 and B is 0. So the output is 0. As we can see from the timing diagram as well that the output is 0. In the second case, when the first input A is 0 and the second input is 1, then the output is again 0. In the third case, when uh, the input A is 1 and the input B is 0, then again the output is 0. And the output is only 1 when both the input A is 1 and the input B is 1. This verify the functionality of AND gate. In this very tutorial, I have explained the value of code for AND gate. In the next coming video, I will uh, teach you uh, the value of code for some other logic gate. Thank you very much for your val valuable time. If you have any question or suggestion, please feel free to contact me via comment section. Like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.